Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into an American single malt that quite frankly, honestly sounds more like an Isla Scotch than an American single malt. And that is Tire Fire Single Malt Whiskey. So what the heck is Tire Fire Single Malt Whiskey other than an interesting name choice. I haven't decided whether I like it for its like word choice of being a descriptor of probably how this whiskey tastes or if it's kind of turning me off. I mean, it's intriguing me more than it's turning me off, but still very interesting name. So this is an American single malt from ASW Distillers. Uh, and essentially this is more like a scotch than, uh, or I mean, it's definitely an American single malt. You can't, there's no like a gray area for those terminologies, but nor is there for scotch, but this is sourced Scottish barley, sourced Scottish peat, and it's made in copper pot distills just like it would be in Scotland, but it's made here in Georgia and bottled at cash strength. So it's a 100% malted barley bottled at cash strength, which is 55.9% ABV. It's 45 ppm and um it's around 70 dollars in my local area but like cash strength scotch is typically around 120. this being 70 dollars and with me getting insanely into the whole like american single malt category i just couldn't resist this i had to pick this up so without further ado we're gonna get on the first sip of this bottle I have poured here. Let it, I let it breathe for a sec because while well, cash strength peated scotch, I had to let it breathe a little bit. Let's go ahead and get on the nose. It's more like earthy than like sea salty. Huh. Oh, this is a weird nose. So I was expect, I'm going to be honest. I was fully expecting a like an Isla style, like smoky, salty, briny type, like Band-Aid nose. This is more of like a barbecue burning coals type nose. The weird note I just got was burning hookah. Like when the ash starts to fall through the little tin foils. I don't know. I used to smoke a little hookah when I was in Afghanistan and this smells just like that. Mm, like a blueberry hookah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, a little bit of vanilla. I honestly, I just can't get past that blueberry hookah nose. It's it's blueberry hookah and vanilla. I, I can't get past that. Like an earthy barbecue, blueberry hookah and vanilla. Not that hookah is really my jam, but this, honestly, I can't get past that. That's like the singular memory recollection, blueberry hookah and barbecue. Not all at the same time, but yeah. Maybe a little bit of like a paprika almost, like a spicy paprika. Honestly, this is really interesting. Do I like this? I don't know. I We need to get into this a little bit more because the blueberry hookah, that's kind of throwing me for a twist, but I was expecting an Isla single malt but it's not even remotely close to that. This is fun. I like this a lot. Let's go ahead and get on the palette. Ooh. Oh. That's burnt brisket and barbecue. Burnt brisket barbecue. Oh, that's wonderful. You got a pig in your Traeger and you got that nice Traeger seasoning. It's like that sweet and spicy kind of like Traeger seasoning. I don't know. I So let me paint a picture. Recently at Costco, I got this Traeger seasoning and this tastes exactly like that Traeger seasoning. You got a brisket in a Traeger. It's getting smoked. Oh, this is smoked meat with that Traeger seasoning. It's like this like kind of sweet and spicy, like almost like paprika, but like slightly sweet kind of meat spice blend. That's exactly what this is. These are, this is a weird review for me, okay? Uh, I don't typically 
review smoke stuff because smoking or smoke like palettes they're not my like finite niche but with getting into american single malts i could not resist this and this is wonderful do i like the nose not at all i mean eh, i don't know i'm torn with the nose because that who could know i'm like oh hey memory recollection like it brings me back to a different time in my life is it good no it's a pretty funky but the palette is really good actually i really like it the smoked meat barbecue this is a rocks glass kind of whiskey this is the kind of whiskey i don't like to nose but it's so good on the palate. I'm super torn. The palate, fantastic. It's smoked meat, brisket, and a Traeger. That's exactly what it is. There's no better descriptor. It's smoked meat in a Traeger. And the nose, it's like hookah at a barbecue. And I don't like it. Do I think this is interesting? Yes, this is wonderfully interesting. This has kind of blown my mind a little bit. It is a lot of fun. I like it. Um, will it be nosing it? No, probably not. But I do like it. Overall, I'm gonna give it a flat B because I'm torn. So $70, there's scotches out there that I would rather have as an overall better drinking experience, like an Ardbeg, Ardbeg 10. Um, I would probably enjoy better than this as like a complete experience because I would enjoy the nose and the palate. But with this being cash strength, so it brings a lot of flavor, a really bold amount of barbecue in there. I think it's a solid B. I like it a lot. I, I like it, but for $70, it is a little bit on the expensive side. And with that nose, if that nose was fantastic, this would be an A-level whiskey, but that nose, it's, I don't know, their nose is funky but the palette is wonderful it's i've never had a whiskey like this before where i dislike the nose completely but i absolutely love the palette and i like smoky whiskey it's just there's something about that like that note of the hookah like the blueberry hookah that killed it for me if you like this content though please do us a favor like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think about this tire fire the nose is a tire fire. The palate is a nice barbecue. It's a, it's a, this is a weird whiskey. Super weird freaking whiskey. But it's fun. It's fun. If, if you're someone who's into single malts or smoked scotch type whiskeys, I think this is definitely a whiskey to give a try. But again, you have to be someone who's into smoke. If you don't like smoke, just leave this in the shelves. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Also, check out the Instagram, the Facebook, and the Patreon link for that is down there below. We appreciate y'all for hanging out here. Cheers. We'll see you later.